I don't know if you've ever felt love before, but I love millennials, and I'm Generation X. Generation apathy, Generation excluded. And about five months ago, I found out that my generation seems to be a genetic link to the salvation of the human species. And it's a hard cross to bear because once the information is pitched out there, men under the age of 35 will not be able to fuck any more than brothers and sisters can fuck. Well, it destroys the human genome. The inbreeding destroys the human genome. So incest is illegal because there can be mistakes. And what I'm pointing out to you is that the genetic abnormalities that we experience from inbreeding are no different from when the father is under the age of 35 and I'm 37 and it's got nothing to do with the fact that I've given away $2,000 from ABT card and have lost 175 pounds doing it and haven't had a girlfriend in five years and it's an Occam razor situation whatever remains must be the truth and I've dated older women four times, and I've dated women my age four times. And all eight of these women are now with older guys. I've never dated younger women, and I've tried for four and a half years. So whenever I see anybody that's having sex or dating a male under the age of 35, especially women, it makes me sick. And I don't want to hate it, because there they are happy. And I'm there saying, you know, if you fuck him and have a kid, it's no different from having sex with your sister and having a kid. As a matter of fact, it's worse because the telomere attrition is more than with inbreeding. <clears throat> and you might there, you might be there asking, well, what if somebody told you that you couldn't breed anymore? Well. From 1912 to 2009, we had a myth called the paternal aging effect that said that men over the age of 35 gave their kids autism. It's the exact opposite. If you want a situation where the exact opposite is true, watch the 1936 film, Reefer Madness, that said if you smoke weed, you're going to become violent and commit suicide. Well. That's pretty much what it is. If you fuck a dude over the age of 35, your kid's going to have schizophrenia and autism. Well, there seems to be a lot of schizophrenia and autism around, and a lot of dudes under 35, not fathers. And this link that short telomering occurs when the father's under the age of 35, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So, I love millennials, and I am in love with chicks under 26. And to take something away from you hurts. And you're there like you're just jealous. No, I pity you. Because you're there politically. You're leftist mostly. 85% of you are very leftist. And it's neat to know that I, as a 37-year-old male, have something in common with 18 to 30 year old people, socialists. Uh, but then here comes a 22 year old guy with a car. And I wonder if I had a million dollars if 18 year old women, 18 to 30, would go out with me to like Red Robin or whatever. Well, what I'm about to tell you is that I do, which is basically true, because my parents, my dad and my stepmom own 12 acres of land, 12.75, 15 miles outside of Aberdeen, Washington, that's worth millions of dollars. I don't know how much. It's not that important to me. Money is not my motivation. I could borrow money, I could be that, but I'm not that. 
and my mom and stepdad had some money saved too. And there's a good chance that I would see a part of that. And even if my mom jokes, we'll give it all away. If my little brother's third grade teacher gets it and I don't, well, it just shows how we're rewarding the rich in this country, even though they're Bernie Sanders supporters. I don't want my parents to go. They maintain the land and the property. That shit's hard. I don't want to do that shit. I don't want to maintain any kind of money. I don't want to, like, manage it or anything. Let my parents do it. Let them be alive for 300 more years for all I care. So they manage it, and I'll get the money later. But I am an heir to millions of dollars. I don't know if that will convince you to go to Red Robin with me. I have about two grand in savings. I want to date somebody under the age of 26, female. So, if you're not interested, and genetically you know that babies with people, when they're men under the age of 35, based on all the research that I'll show you on my website, that won a Nobel Prize in 2009, well, you're a bigot. And you can't be a leftist and a bigot. You can't be a Democrat and a bigot. And that's most of you. In 2016, I'm a Democrat, I'm a socialist, I don't like shitlery, and I don't like Trump, just like you. Some of you will vote for Hillary. Hillary Clinton will win the election, Donald Trump will not. But at the same time, there's your dude with a car, and you're rolling with him, and I'm there like, I don't got a car, I'm a socialist too, and I live in a homeless shelter. If you didn't feel the burn, I don't deign you necessary to my life. You can be replaced. And if you still base love on money, fuck you. Especially if you're left-wing or a Democrat. So if the money is a problem, well, I'm in an, I will inherit millions of dollars whenever my parents go. Do I want them to go? No. Do I need you to know this? Maybe it's leverage. I haven't had a girlfriend in five years. Just let me do what I'm going to do. Because if you don't, this doesn't quit. My name is Lucas Warner. My website is Conversation Our Age. You are not entitled to shit because MTV told you so. Youth Entitlement Coachella, all that influences everybody. People under 35, fuck it, cranks up the telomerase. It causes cancer, depression, stress, and anger, and everybody around, especially people with depleting levels of telomerase, like people over the age of 35. But my sperm? It goes up in telomerase, so my balls are all ready for you. If I don't get pussy or baby out of it, and you're a chick, you're not dating. If I need money to influence you, you're not a fucking leftist. But I do have two grand. If this is a fucking problem for you, read the links on my page and you'll understand why I'm so fucking mad. But I love you, and I'm in love with you. And if that's desperation, fuck you, Republican. My website is conversationrage.weebly.com And if you have used it at all to get young pussy, well, I haven't had any in five years. Go to fucking hell!